Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite makeups and skin products. So if you'd like to see it, please keep watching. So I'm going to start off with the skin um, products. Right now, currently, one of my favorite sheet masks are the Retinol Anti-Aging Mask. It's a 15 minute mask. It brings five sheets and you leave it on for 15 minutes after you wash your face and it leaves your face so smooth, so soft, exfoliates the whole nine and it's really good. I brought this in TJ Maxx and it was like $3.99 which is a deal for five sheets and it does the same basically as any other high-end um, sheet mask. But after I do my sheet mask and um, clean my face, I go to the serum that I use which is um, the Physician's Formula Skin Booster Vitamin Shot. It's um, a hydrating serum. I put this all over my face and let it dry so then I can move on to my under eye cream and my moisturizer for my face. This does leave your skin a little bit sticky but I like it because my skin tends to be dry so I need everything to stay to say that it's hydrating so my skin could be soft throughout the day. For my under eyes it's the Derma E Ultra Hydrating Alkaline Water Eye Gel. So I brought this in Ulta for like $13. It really hydrates my under eyes because they tend to get dry especially when I put concealer. So I found this to be really good so far and so far it's been helping it out. For your moisturizer, like I mentioned, I have really dry skin, especially in the winter. So what I found that is really helping me, it's the IT Cosmetics um, Confidence and a Cream Anti-Aging. Um, this cream is super thick but super, um, super silk at the same time. It does smell good and costs about $48. And I know it's a splurge, but it does help in my skin. So anybody who has dry skin and is looking for a good moisturizer, I highly recommend this one. Okay guys, now on to my makeup. So what I want to start off is one of my favorite um, setting spray is the Mario Badescu um, Facial Spray. I love this spray. It smells so good. It's the lavender scent. I know he has um, two other scents, I believe. I haven't tried those out. But this one's my all-time favorite. It helps my makeup stay on my face all day. So what I usually do is I put it before I apply my makeup and then after my makeup. Favorite is the Shape Take Concealer by Tarte. I believe this is basically everyone's favorite concealer. Um, this concealer is my holy grail. It covers my under eyes so good. Like I never want to go to another concealer and I will always stay with this one. So right now I have two current favorite foundations. Right now one of my drugstore favorites is the Superstay Maybelline foundation. This foundation I heard a lot of good things about it so I decided to buy it. And I've been using it for a while now and I love the coverage. Um, it covers all like my pores, my imperfections that I have on my face, my redness, all that good stuff. So I highly recommend this one. This is in the color 120 in Classic Ivory. Another foundation that I like is a higher end, which is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. It's a foundation and concealer in one bottle. I used to use this one before when I started to play with makeup, but now I stopped for a while and I decided to buy it because it used to leave my face really nice and it looks and it looked like I had foundation, but it was like a very dewy look and it wasn't that bad. So I started to use it again and I, this is still one of my favorites and it's actually what I have in my face right now. But um, this one goes I believe for $28 if I'm not mistaken. You can find it at either Ulta or Sephora. So if you want to try a new foundation I suggest you buy the Clinique one. Dig into primers before because I just used to use the setting spray and I thought it basically did the same thing. But I started to get into the um, primers again. And I discovered this drugstore one from Maybelline Ma uh, Master Prime. So it's really good actually. I, I just usually put it on my teen zone area, which is like the middle of my forehead, my nose, all that. And um, because that's where I tend to get oily a lot. So I actually apply this and 
shockingly um my t-zone area doesn't get that oily like it used to when i don't put the primer so if you're looking for a good um deal primer this one's an option favorite um brow pencil it is the goof proof brow pencil by benefit this is another one of my holy grails i use this on the daily this is one of my favorite pencils i love that it has the tip which is like a little bit slanted that way when you're going on doing your arc or under your eyebrows it helps um, make that perfect line shape um, and I like that it has at the end a little brush so you can brush your brows this goes I believe I don't remember I believe it goes for like 24 28 I'm not sure exactly but this is one of my favorites after I do my brows I like to conceal the air um, around them with the concealer from Tarte and then once that's all done I like to go in with the um, 24 hour brow sweat setter from B um, Benefit Cosmetics which just basically it's a clear coat gives it a coat a little bit of shine to your brows that way you know doesn't look too powdery or too creamy with the pencil um if you don't need it you can just put this on top and it helps your um hair stay in place that i use to put my foundation concealer powder or the real technique sponges i don't use the beauty blenders i know everybody uses it but they're super expensive and honestly you just keep washing them at the end you're gonna have to buy a new one and i'm not planning to spend over twenty dollars for a beauty blender when I can just buy these and these came in a pack in TJ Maxx for four dollars for $13.99 and it basically does the same thing and they're super soft and they're affordable the last two products that are one of my favorites in the makeup category are these two palettes that I recently brought um, the first one is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. Let's just talk about this packaging. First of all, this packaging is so gorgeous and she's so pretty. I can't deal. And it comes with a bunch of shade colors. They're mostly all pink, neutral, brown, gold, a little bit dark. So I feel like this is a very versatile palette. Um, because you can use this for the winter, the summer, the spring, the fall. You can do any looks with this palette, so it's pretty good. I am actually brought it when it was 50% off, so I actually got a good deal on this one. The other palette that I brought recently from my girl, Cardi by Bell, is the one she did with Anastasia Beverly Hills. I followed Carly Bell since like the beginning of her YouTube channel. She was the one that actually made me get into the uh, makeup world and love makeup. She was one of the first YouTubers I followed. So ever since then, I like, love her. So this is the packaging. Let's talk about the packaging, how beautiful it is. Um, you can see the imprint of the jewels, which are not actual jewels, but it's just the imprint on the packaging, which is so beautiful. It's so girly, just like her. Um, let's look at the inside. So this is the inside. It has two rows of eyeshadows. There are shimmer eyeshadows. There are matte eyeshadow. I don't know if this palette can be used all year round. These colors are really hard to use, but I do love like the pigmentation on the shimmer eyeshadows. There is a little bit of fallout, however, these eyeshadows are really good. Um, so far, I've tried it and I liked it. Okay guys, that's it for my video. I hope you guys enjoy. Please don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below any other videos you'd like to see. So thank you for watching again. Until next time, bye.